From falling in love in the 90s to getting married three months after meeting, these couples are so underrated. We really don't hear about the comedic duo and real-life married couple Melissa McCarthy and Ben Falcone labeled as relationship goals, but it's time that changes. The couple has worked together on multiple films, including starring opposite one another in the beloved comedy Bridesmaids. They've also written, directed, and co-starred in films like The Boss and Tammy, which were both developed by their company, On The Day Productions. Honestly, who wouldn't want to work with their partner? Especially when their other half is as funny as either one of these two. As McCarthy told E! News, being scene partners, as well as romantic partners, isn't just a delight, it's also interwoven into the fabric of their love story. It's like you get to go to work with your best friend, and it's exactly how we met, and yeah. we became such good friends because we loved doing this together. Having met during a 1995 comedy class at the Groundlings in Los Angeles, McCarthy and Falcone have a long history together. They married in 2005 after dating for seven years and welcomed two children together. Proving they are one of Hollywood's absolute coolest couples, they opted to wear matching Adidas tracksuits to the 2019 Vanity Fair Oscars after party. Ryan Gosling and Ava Mendes are notoriously private, but that doesn't mean they should go unnoticed. The couple have been together since 2011, ever since they starred together in the film The Place Beyond the Pines, where they portray love interests. Over the years, the pair haven't made many public statements about each other. However, in 2015, Gosling did gush about his other half when he told Hello, I know that I'm with the person I'm supposed to be with. Charmingly, he added that there is only one quality he looks for in a woman, saying, that she's Ava Mendez. There's nothing else I'm looking for. The pair are so closed off to the public that as of this video, it's still unknown whether or not the couple have tied the knot. However, in an interview with Australia's Today in November 2022, Mendez hinted that the actor might already be her husband. Apologies. There's a rumor that you guys might have secretly tied the knot. Is Did that you or true? Not? But who says we weren't already? That same month, the star prompted additional speculation regarding her potential marital status on Instagram after she showed off a tattoo on her inner wrist that read, De Gosling. Getting a tattoo of your significant other's name is a pretty big leap, but does it mean that the two are secretly married? We have no idea. What we do know about this couple is that they are parents to two children. They welcomed their first daughter, Esmeralda, in 2014, and another daughter, Amada, two years later. Rosie Huntington Whiteley and Jason Statham have a low-key romance similar to that of Ava Mendez and Ryan Gosling. That may be why these two couples aren't up there with power couples like Beyonce and Jay-Z or John Legend and Chrissy Teigen. They like to keep their relationship under wraps and rarely share details about their lives on social media. However, when Statham and Huntington Whiteley make a public appearance together, like when she accompanied him to the 2019 Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw movie premiere, it was impossible to ignore the volume of joy and glamour exuding from the couple. The model and actor were first linked in 2009 before getting engaged in 2016. While they've welcomed two children together over the years, as of this video, they have yet to be married. However, there are no signs of trouble in paradise for these two. In 2018, Huntington Whiteley told Extra that she and Statham might wait until their children are older so that they can witness mom and dad tie the knot, adding, I think the time will come. We've been so focused on our work for so long and our children came along. We, we definitely talk about it. We're looking forward to that time, but it's also not a huge priority to no. us. We're so happy. You've got you know? a Whenever these two decide to take the next major step in their relationship, Huntington Whiteley will undoubtedly make one stunning bride. We don't hear as much about Viola Davis's marriage as we do her phenomenal acting career. However, we can't forget the man who's been by her side since 1999, her husband, Julius Tenen. The pair met on the set of the television series City of Angels and married in 2003. They have been each other's rock ever since, and even worked together in films like Custody, The Woman King, and Air. In 2017, Tenen proudly cheered his wife on when she received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and was by her side when she virtually accepted a SAG award for her role in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom in 2021. In her video acceptance speech, the couple shared a sweet kiss. In fact, Davis is no stranger to including her husband in her many acceptance speeches. In 2017, she gushed about their relationship during her backstage interview following her Golden Globe win. I don't know what I did to deserve him walking into my life 18 years ago. I just know that it worked. She went on to describe more of their relationship and how they support one another. 
I just know that it's a great friendship. I know that when I'm down, he's up, and when he's down, I'm up. And she went on to do the same thing when she won a 2023 Best Audiobook Grammy Award for her memoir, Finding Me, saying to Tenen and their daughter Genesis during her acceptance speech, You are my life and my joy, the best chapter in my book. Zoe Saldana has several achievements under her belt. For starters, she's the only actor to star in four of the highest-grossing movies of all time, which include Avatar, Avatar The Way of Water, Avengers Infinity War, and Avengers Endgame, all of which crossed the $2 billion mark at the global box office. While we recognize Saldana for her massive success in Hollywood, we'd also like to celebrate her thriving marriage. The star has been married to her husband, Italian artist Marco Perego, since 2013, following a short romance that began just three months prior. The event generated lots of additional discussions when Perego took his wife's last name, with the artist becoming Marco Perego Saldana. The star defended her husband's decision to go against conventional norms when she told in style, I tried to talk him out of it. I told him, if you use my last name, you're going to be emasculated by your community of artists, by your Latin community of men, by the world. Marco looks up at me and says, ah, Zoe, I don't give a shit. The actor and her husband are also very busy parents, sharing three sons together, Zen Anton and twin boys, Sai Aridio and Bowie Ezio. We love to hear about actors falling in love on set. And that's exactly what seemed to happen with A-listers Rachel Weisz and Daniel Craig after starring together as husband and wife in the 2011 thriller Dreamhouse. The couple didn't waste any time taking their romance to the next level, and they secretly married in June 2011. Their whirlwind romance may have shocked Weisz as she revealed to the Evening Standard in 2018 that she never saw herself getting married. It was not an ambition of mine, it was the opposite. I couldn't relate to romantic comedies. Marriage seems to be the whole point of them. Then it just happened, happily, at a more mature moment. The two rarely talk about one another in the press. Vice had an excellent reason for shunning away from discussing their love life when she told Moore that her husband was simply too big a celebrity to do so. It would be a betrayal. You have to protect your marriage. When you're young, you tell your girlfriends everything. One of the great pleasures of not being an adolescent is that you don't have to share everything. When you're married, that door closes. The audience goes, and you're in your own life. In 2018, the couple also welcomed a baby daughter to the world. If you follow Joshua Jackson on Instagram, then you likely know how devoted he is to his wife, the model and actor Jody Turner-Smith. These two began dating in 2018 and secretly tied the knot the following year. They've stunned onlookers with their red carpet looks, including turning heads in Gucci ensembles at the 2022 Met Gala and absolutely crushing it in crushed velvet at the 2023 Vanity Fair Oscars after party. To prove how great of a hubby Jackson is, he penned the sweetest message to her when marking her first Mother's Day after the couple welcomed a daughter together in April 2020. He shared on Instagram, Thank you for the depth of grace you have found since our daughter arrived. The commitment that you make looks so effortless, but I know is anything but. Thank you for making me a father, for trusting me enough to embark on this journey together. And clearly, Turner Smith is just as obsessed with the former Dawson's Creek star. Talking about her life with Jackson to Netta Porte in September 2020, she said, I'm really in love with my husband. That might be weird for people, but I'm doing a pretty good job of not shouting that from the rooftops as much as I would like to. Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prince Jr. were the ultimate 90s couple after meeting on the set of the slasher film I Know What You Did Last Summer. They surpassed over two decades of marriage, having wed in 2002, which is definitely something to celebrate. But the way we see it, this Hollywood couple isn't getting anywhere near the attention they deserve. According to Prince Jr., the secret to their marital success is that the two stars are actually total opposites. Of course, they do say opposites attract, right? He told People in 2019, Sarah and I are night and day, and it's why we've always been a good couple and had a good relationship. Because everything I don't enjoy, she's really good at. And everything she doesn't enjoy, I'm really good at. Naturally, that includes cooking dinner, which is great considering that Prince Jr. is a legit chef and cookbook author and his wife hates cooking. The couple marked their 20th wedding anniversary in 2022, and both stars posted sweet messages to one another on Instagram. On her Instagram stories, Geller shared a clip of her then-future husband's interview with radio host Howard Stern, who asked, So you will marry her even though you know that, that it won't last. No, that it won't last. Oh, you know absolutely what? it'll You're last. A 
Geller jokingly tagged Stern in her story and wrote, What do you think? I think you owe us. Scarlett Johansson and Colin Jost have a sweet romance that's totally underrated. They were first linked in 2017, the same year Johansson split from her husband, Romain Dariak. However, their friendship goes way back after the Black Widow actor hosted Saturday Night Live for the first time in 2006 when Jost was working as a writer. She since hosted the show six times. The couple made their public debut in December 2017 after attending the American Museum of Natural History Gala in New York City. Jost would go on to support Johansson during her many Marvel movie premieres. After announcing their engagement in May 2019, Johansson gave a shout-out to her fiancé when she hosted SNL for the sixth time. That this place means so much to me. I have so many friends here, and I met the love of my life here. In October 2020, the pair married in a small ceremony amid the coronavirus pandemic. 2021 was a big year for the couple after they welcomed their first child together. Their son, Cosmo, was born in August, making Johansson a mom of two. She was already a mother to her daughter, Rose, whom she welcomed in 2014 with Dariak.